hello guys in this video i present you a very interesting model replete coder unto 1.5 billion this model is uncensored this model is not only geared towards coding but also performs quite well in role play and general english language questions this model is a general purpose model that is specially trained in coding in over 100 languages the creator of this model have clearly said that they want a GPT killer and that is what they hope that this model is going to achieve. The data used to train the model contains 25% non-code instruction data and 75% coding instruction data totaling up to 3.9 million lines, roughly 1 billion tokens or 8 GP of instruct data. The data used to train this model was 100% uncensored, then fully deduplicated before training happened. This Replete Coder model, which includes Replete Coder Lama 38 billion and Replete Coder Unto 1.5 billion, has got advanced coding capabilities, advanced code translation between languages, and we are also going to test it out in this video after installing it locally. It also has got security and vulnerability prevention related coding capabilities plus general purpose usage totally uncensored and shameless it also supports function calling advanced math usage and also it is quite usable on low uh, commodity G uh, vram gpus plus even mobile platform because the size is quite small also um, this has been fine-tuned on a context window of 8k and if you increase that context the performance is not guaranteed so try to keep the context length to 8k or lower and that is going to perform very well before i show you the installation let me give a huge shout out to mast compute who are sponsoring the vm and the gpu for this video i am using nvidia rtx a6000 with 48 gb of vram but you don't need that much if you have on even 8 gb of vram you should be good to go now, if you're looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website and a coupon code with 50% discount on range of GPUs in the video's description. Let me now launch my LM Studio, which I will be using in order to get this thing installed. If you don't know what LM Studio is, please search the channel. I already have done heaps of videos on it. So launch LM Studio, just type replete coder unto and you will see that we have this replete coder here i already have downloaded one of the good quantized q8 which is around 1.65 gig i have loaded it here and then i have selected the preset as chat table this is what it supports and its system prompt is like this one which is uh, available from their hugging face model card so let's try out this model in the first one i'm going to ask a few coding questions and then we will move on to the next test so the first one i am asking it is to write a function to find the maximum contiguous sub array of given array and then the array is there and this is a python function so let's run it oops nothing okay, so it means we need to maybe select the proper uh, prompt templates let's try out let's go with it so i have tried with various uh, presets and also different quantization it seems the quantization is not good so what we will do instead of using lm studio we are reverting to our um, terminal and then we will get it installed there so let me fit it in onto the screen and yes this is the life of ai engineer you have to you know try out different things these things are so new um, that you have to experiment and i'm showing you in a real world instead of sort of making or massaging it anyway so let's wait for it to create the conda environment where i will be installing everything i just created a conda environment let me clear the screen let's install all the prerequisites for this model installing pytorch transformers so yeah so i was just saying that you have to just bear with me because you have to try out different things the model was just released an hour ago people have done the quantization but you see that the quantization is not good at all and people have uploaded it without even testing so that is where you need to be careful that whenever you encounter such things 
you should be able to figure out the options so in this case instead of going with a quantized version we are just going to install it the full version so let's wait for all of these prerequisites to get installed and then we will fire up our python interpreter all the prerequisites are done let me clear the screen and now let me launch my python interpreter let's import the torch transformers and also let's set our models um, repo and the whole name and now let's download our model by using auto model for causal lm and it is going to download this model which is just 3 gig of size so let's wait for it to finish and model is downloaded let's also get our tokenizer for this model and tokenizer is also done now let's specify a prompt i'm just giving it this prompt in coding function which i just gave it in the lm studio again the same maximum contiguous sub array that is done let's now convert this text into tokens and i'm just using that tokenizer let's put that to CUDA if it is possible yep that is possible let's generate the output from the model i'm just going to give it a bit more output context which is like this um, and then it is going to generate the output so let's wait for it and then we are going to print it out that is done let's decode it with the tokenizer okay sorry i just need to there was a typo here it was output sorry i just need to <laughs> fix the typo i will just double check it come on there you go now it is well and now let's print out the text there you go so you see if i go up this is a whole python function which it has written an amazing function and it has also given us how to test the function and output is totally correct and then it is it has given us uh, the synopsis of the code so amazing model as i was suspecting it's a shame that the quantized version was not good but i think this is better because now we are able to test the whole function whole model without any quantization let me clear the screen and let's test out few other prompts now in the next prompt i am asking it to given a sorted array that has been rotated on unknown number of times write a function to search for an element and then i have given it an input let's see what happens i'm just putting it in the pipeline and there you go so it, this is our rotated array function amazing amazing stuff how good is that beautiful and because i have ran it before so i can tell you uh, with certainty that it's an amazing correct code until here great stuff okay let's check out because model card says it can do very well code translation from one language to another let's check it out so in this one i am asking it to convert a javascript function into c plus plus let's see so there you go so it is our c plus plus and it has also given us a cpp and it is telling you it is an equivalent c plus plus function and the synopsis is also there great stuff and now in the next one i am asking it to identify and repair the bug in the ruby method so let's see if it understands ruby and repairs the bug or not it does exactly you know it has fixed the bug and you see that it was lightning fast on this gpu amazing stuff okay so let me clear the screen and now let's try to ask it a couple of um, math and english questions okay so this is our math question so i'm just giving it an equation let's wait for it to come back let's print it yep that is great answer it has given so it has converted it into the python program the whole math question interesting so i was hoping it to give me a math one but let me maybe because i just gave it a question i didn't say it so let me change the prompt so instead of just giving it an equation i have asked it solve this math equation and give me an answer let's see if it gives me an answer the correct answer is 20. yep that is there you go so we need to properly tell it what needs to be done 
okay let's clear the screen and let me ask it a english question now and there you go so i am asking it right 10 sentences ending with the word beauty let's wait for it let's see how its english progresses hmm amazing nope you see most of the models fail this question and this model has also failed it it has included the word beauty in the sentences but other than that no sentences ending with the beauty but that is fine i think still uh, you can see that the english prose is quite good it's not bad at all so all in all i think a real um, interesting model i would say really performant i'm quite impressed by it especially given the size and the coding skills are amazing 1.5 billion that's it I run it on mobile devices ipad tablets wherever you like so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think i'm going to drop the link to this model card in video description if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching